Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Battle Court Highline. Tonight's game day will feature the Cyclones and the Fireballs. And with that, I want to welcome everybody into another edition of our Spring 24 Battle Court season, winding down this regular season, Stu, just today and tomorrow left. And then we begin the playoffs. I yes, am Andrew Blackman, joined alongside Stu Nyman. How are you doing today, Stu? Been a fantastic season, Andrew. Looking forward to winding it down and getting off to those playoffs. We're going to get started here in the second division. These two teams will not be playing into the playoffs. Again, already eliminated, but a chance to build the momentum here for the fall 24 season. Coming up in September, we get started with Ikeda and Lopez against Faronda and Amiga Reina. Ikeda and Lopez this season, they won their first match. They won at the midway point of their season. Just two wins, six losses. Flipping over here to the Fireballs team, Faronda and Amiga Reina. We know just got one win back on April 15th. Looking for their second right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to begin our first match of the game day. Ikeda will have the serve for the Cyclones. Ikeda serves. We begin. Migrena backhand to the inside. Lopez is there. Fronda from the nine line. Lopez from the ten line. There's the backhand by Lopez. Here's Lopez from the 11 line. Backhand to the inside. Nice and hard. Amigarena is there. Ikeda, backhand from the 7 line. Lifts to the back wall. Out to the Robote. Ferranda is there. Forehand Robote in play. Here's the backhand by Lopez. Low runner to the inside. Amigarena is there. Robote left side by Lopez. That ball is in play. Ferrando winds up. Split placement taken in the air by Ikeda. Perfect placement picked off by Ferranda. Beautifully played. Robote saved by Lopez. Caught by Ferranda. Two all by Ferranda. Will score. Such a well played first point to start off the afternoon. That goes to Ferranda and Amigarena. Wow. You right. talked about this setting the pace. That's yeah. quite a pace. And great first point right here. Ikeda going for this softer forehand. Look at Ferron to reach in there with one hand. Not even going to allow the opportunity for that to take a second bounce. And you got to be aggressive here if you're Ferron to Ana Migarena. Ikeda and Lopez are maybe one of the best defensive teams in this division, if not the best team. They're going to stand in there and play these lengthy points. Ferron to Migarena, not built for that. You're going to see them fire off some shots quicker like they did there. Here's a backhand by Amigarena. Caught on the forehand of Ikeda. Robote forehand by Ferranda. Lopez from the 12 line. High to the front wall. Caught by Ferranda. Powerful backhand caught down low. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Caught by Amigarena. Robote forehand to the inside. I mean, Grant is there. Beautiful catch off the sidewall. Robote forehand to the inside. Lopez is there. Veranda, Costado to the inside. Lopez on the catch. Here's the backhand by Lopez. Powerfully thrown, stays to the inside. Backhand by Amigarena. Robote saved by Ferranda. Here's Lopez. Gata gets in there. Backhand from the eight line. Ferranda on the backhand from the six. Robote comes to the outside. 
Rote forehand. Crossing the side wall. Great second effort. We'll keep that ball in play. Ikeda stays with it, comes back to the 10 line to make the catch. Here's Amigarena. Powerful backhand, Robote coming out. Ikeda, forehand Robote to the inside, and Migarena's there. Backhand to all caught in the air by Ikeda. Amigarena from the 10 line. Big backhand by Lopez, wall to wall. Robote, split placement, caught in the air by Ikeda. Beautiful catch by Amigarena. Here's the backhand from the 11 line. Lopez is there. Robote forehand again by Ikeda. Amigarena keeps this Robote low, caught by Ikeda. Ikeda fakes the two all, drops it inside to score. Well played. We're all tied up one point apiece. Reminder of the scoring here in Battle Court, ladies and gentlemen. The first team to reach six points wins the set, and the first team to win two sets wins the match. Migarena takes the serve on the left side. Lopez, backhand, off the side wall. Bullet comes back on the side wall. Ferranda's there. Robote forehand. Here's a backhand by Ikeda. That took off and hit the overhead screen, which is out of play. Two points for Ferranda and Migarena of the fireballs. Ferranda has the serve. Here's the backhand by Amigarena. Here's a catch by Lopez. Lopez from the forehand. Here's I know. Ball tip. Two two. Keita serves. Again, Ferrandez, he just has to be that active on the inside to control the pace of the game up there in the front court. I like to see him going for those balls, trying to be aggressive. He's very capable of making that catch. Fault over serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. A good serve lands between the four and seven line. Here's the backhand by Amigarena. Robote left side. Amigarena wasn't there, but got there. There's the forehand return, and it scores at the side wall. Three points for Ferranda and Amigarena. Ferranda has the serve for the fireballs. A tremendous read by Amigarena. I mean, Feronda, that was out of his reach. It was all on Amigarena to make the stop and keep the rally going. Not only did he make the catch, put it on the wall. They now lead 3 2. Fault under serve. Battle court rules allow for two serves. Second serve must be good. Lopez on the backhand from the 11 line, powerfully thrown. Amigarena, backhand from the 12. Low bullet from Lopez, Robote coming out. Lopez on the bounce from the 11, on the right side. Backhand by Amigarena, caught by Lopez. Robote forehand. Ferranda to the inside. Backhand to the inside. Beautiful catch by Lopez. Ferranda again. Backhand from the eight. Lopez from the 11. Ferranda calls for the Bote. Makes a save at the side wall. Here's Ikeda from the seven. Amigarena's there. Backhand.
There's a backhand. Lopez saves or rotates a two all, but it oh, lands just wide. That's a fourth point for the fireballs. Feronda and Amigarena. Feronda serves. And the left side is Nandi Keita's preferred side on that Robote. So you don't mind Lopez getting in there. Just caught the sidewall first, opened up as a two wall, had a little too much power to stay in the court. And Feronda and Amigarena, really a different team in the second half of this season. They picked up their first win just a few weeks ago. They've been knocking on the door. Powerful serve by Ferranda. Beautiful catch and return by Lopez. Lopez takes it on the right side. Third point for the Cyclones. Ikeda and Lopez. Ikeda has the serve. Migrano down low, backhand to the inside. Ikeda's there. Big backhand by Ikeda, caught by Migrano. Ikeda calls for their bote, sends it back to the inside. Ferrando with a clutch catch. Overhead. Big right side by Lopez. There's a backhand by Lopez. That scores, well thrown. 4-4 is the score. Ikeda serves for the Cyclones. And just all power right there from causing the miss by Amiga Reina. He's been pretty sure-handed there on the left side in the backcourt, just popping out of the basket. Amiga Reina down low, backhand to the inside. Ikeda comes in to make the catch. Here's the backhand from the nine line. Robote for Ferranda. Ferranda just leaves it up. Lopez is there. Big backhand by Lopez. Another bullet. Forehand a Robote by Ferranda. Lopez adjusts, saves the Robote. Split placement tipped in the front court. 5 4 in favor of the Fireballs. Possible set point. And one of the toughest things in doubles is communicating on those split placements. I mean, you just have to talk, though. I mean, that's the main part. If you communicate, the front quarter knows to let it go, and he's got his support behind him. It's tough for Ikeda. That ball's coming up in on him pretty quickly. He doesn't want to let it pass. That's worst-case scenario, and have nobody be there. It's on the back quarter, though. Just got to call him off if you're in position. Beautiful catch by Lopez. Such a powerful backhand. Caught and returned by Amigarena. Here's Lopez. Another bullet wall to wall from the left side. Forehand rebote by Ferranda. Well played. Lopez. Backhand. Amiga Reina with a tip wow. ball. It is 5-5. Five, five. This is set point. I mean, that thing was a bullet crossing the side wall deep in the backcourt. I mean, right where you want it if you're Lopez. Few people in the world throw the ball as hard as Lopez on the left side. And you see how Amiga Reina just tried to really rip that one in, try to take it right off the side wall. And just couldn't do it in time. 5-5. Five, five. This is the set. Ferranda picks the serve. There's the two oh, all that scores. My, him. oh, my. Point and set for Ferranda and Amigarena. They take the first set 6-5. A minute 30 goes up on the board. We'll come back out and play our next set. A great shot there by Ferranda. We haven't seen him try to BDK to net side on that two wall. And you see he was kind of crossed up there, looking for more of a split placement. That's why you got to switch it up. Can't keep giving your opponent the same look on the two wall. You got to mix it up. Keep the Perfect. defense honest. You're absolutely right, Andrew. Perfect time to throw it. Here we are in the ESPN3 players cage. Players come back here to take their breaks in between sets and to prepare for matches. There you are with the fireballs. You see Migrena and Ferranda. Migrena's on the right side of your screen. Ferranda on the left side of your screen. Getting feedback from Duque Hernandez and Chris Cabrera. figure it was going to be a, a little bit of a tough start for Ferranda and Migarena given the two new players coming into this battle court league. And the first half of their season, I mean, they started off actually losers of their first seven, but winner back on the 15th of April. They lost this next next time out against the Renegades two team. That's Gosherian and Ben, one of the toughest in that group. Yep. And here they are against Ikeda and Lopez looking for their second win to finish off the season. It's taken them a bit to figure things out, but now that they have, Solid team. Yeah, 
Verona looks a lot more comfortable throwing shots up in the front court. You see his aggressive style of play, cutting balls off. And then Domingo Reyna. We've talked about his improvement in the backcourt over the last couple of weeks. Day by day, to figure it out. Looking good here so far. Second set ready to go. Ikeda Lopez will have the serve. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to begin our second set. Ikeda has the serve for the Cyclones. Here's the serve. We begin. Backhand by Amigarena. Lopez, beautiful catch behind the 11 line. Such a powerful backhand to the inside. Here's Amigarena. Wall to wall from the backhand. Low runner, right up the wall. Lopez is there. Robote forehand. Ikeda's there. Backhand. Lopez, powerfully thrown. That's a great catch by Amigarena on the forehand. Ball tipped at the seven line. Ikeda and Lopez are on the board first here in the second set. Ikeda serves. Kind of died off the front wall. I mean, you can hear the sound of it. And Feronda, he was waiting for it at about the seven line. Just had to step up to that one, try to take it in the air. Here's a backhand by Migarena. Robote forehand save by Lopez. Costado, red and stopped by Lopez. Migarena is there. Backhand from the 10. Wall to wall and out to the Robote. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Ferranda on the catch. Ikeda gets in there to make the Robote save. Here's Migarena. The bullet of a backhand. Lopez again, blasts another one to the corner. Backhand now by Amigarena. Veranda on the forehand. Hard to the inside. Lopez for the Robote save. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Here's Amigarena on the backhand. Backhand powerfully, powerfully thrown by Lopez. Oh, caught himself. Ronda was touched with the ball coming off the front wall. That's a loss of point. Two points for Ikeda and Lopez. Ikeda serves. An unfortunate break. Sharp angle off the side wall right into his ankle. Shin looked like. Hope that Ronda's all right. Migarena from the 13 line to the inside. Lopez is there. Rotate forehand. That ball's missed. About the seven line. Ferranda and Migarena on the board with a point for the fireballs. Ferranda serves. Again, I hate to say it again, but. He just took his eye off it. And common mistake for Ikeda up there in the front, thinking about the shot before he secured that catch. Cuts the deficit to just one. Beautiful catch by Lopez. That's an equally beautiful backhand. Robote save. Lopez now from the 11 line. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Amigarena is there. Backhand from the 11 line. Ikeda calls for the Robote, gets it back. Robote is floating, saved by Amigarena. Taken on the bounce, missed on the bounce up in the front court. We're all tied up two points apiece. Veranda has the serve. Well, we've seen this the last couple of game days and talking about attacking a floating ball. I mean, that's another example right there. That one a little bit lower than we've one. seen. Yeah. But again, not easy. Got a lot of spin as a Because you wind up going up to them and you see the guys like they're trapping it, like right. you see in lacrosse, where they you get your sister around and trap it, and it's an entirely different feel. Yeah. 
And two unforced errors, and now we're tied up, 2-2. Two -two. Juggling, juggling ruled on the catch of Lopez. That's three points for Feronda and Amigarena. Feronda serves. A little bit unnatural there as he brought that Sesta above his head to try to secure it, so couldn't see the juggle, but in any event, a hold. Took a lot longer to get that back in off than we're used to seeing from Lopez. Beautiful catch by Lopez. Back in, two all. Caught by Feronda. Rebote forehand. Hits the rail just above the front wall. That's out of play. Four points for Feronda and Amigarena. And four straight points here after a 2-0 deficit. But all unforced errors. I mean, again, that one serve was pretty well placed, but Rebote up in the screen. Ikeda missed two on the outside. This is well in the Cyclones' control, just letting this one slip away. Got to get this point here. Backhand by Lopez. Excellent catch by Amigarena. Rebote left side by Ikeda. Midcourt placement stopped by Amigarena. Scoop attempt miss. Rebote's save is not there. That is five points for Feronda and Amigarena. This is possible set, possible match point. Well, hasn't been quite the defensive battle like we thought it was going to be going into it. That certainly favors Ikeda and Lopez. A much quicker pace. Seems to favor Feronda and Amigarena. And again, tough when you got a, you got a front quarter up there in Ikeda, fourth ring player, doesn't throw any shots from the Costano, primarily right side. It just limits what you can do offensively. Ikeda picked the serve, throws it wall to wall from the right side. Here's Feronda, he passes. Rebote for Ikeda. Feronda aggressively from the Costado, scooped up by Lopez. Lopez low and hard. Amigarena saves the Rebote to the inside. Ikeda takes it in the air. Rebote left side by Feronda, stays to the outside. Here's Lopez midcourt. Powerful throw. Amigarena, Rebote save, beautifully played, stopped by Lopez. Amigarena on the forehand. Right side to the inside, Lopez is there. What a catch by Feronda coming cross court. Rebote, the rebound off the back wall, played by Ikeda. Here's Amigarena. Amigarena over the top. That ball kicked. Ikeda's calling for it. Oh, he makes a two-ball save. Feronda reads it, stops it, returns to Karam with a soft touch. That scores. That scores. Point set in a hard-fought match going for Feronda and Amigarena in straight sets. 6-5, 6-2. Hard fought indeed, 6-5, six, 6-2 six, for Ronda and Amigarena. Get the fireballs on the board to start off the game day. The yeah, final ruling that two wall was ruled to have touched the net prior to Ikeda catching it. That's a good call and the right call, 6-2. Fireballs take the opening match. Game day scoreboard up here, one and a half points for the fireballs. You see these two teams competing today, rightmost in that bottom row. Fifth place for the Cyclones, sixth place for the Fireballs. Not going to be making the playoffs this season. They get a chance to build towards 2024 here in these final regular season game days. We're going to hear from the winners, Jed Feronda and Amigarena. Here they are, second ranked team for the Fireballs. All right, Feronda, Amigarena, congratulations on your second win of the season. What was the key to that victory tonight, and how do you, can you maintain that momentum moving forward into our next season? Thank you so very much. I think that we, we play good today. They don't play, I think, uh, as well as they play uh, other games, but uh, we have the, the luck with it, that we don't have uh, other games, so we are very happy for this victory. Yes, uh, it was a, a pleasure to, to play with Miguel uh, all this season. No, For the next season, we don't know what's going to happen, but this, this season has been a, a pleasure to, to play with a backer like Miguel Thank you. Well, guys, again, uh, this victory is for one of our friends that unfortunately passed away. So a big hat to, to his family and to all of his, all of his friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for, for him. Well, guys, again, congratulations on winning that match. Let's see what else happens in today's game day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.